everyone welcome to our youtube channel and um, in this video um, i will be talking about how you would be um, you can become your own fund manager and this is the part two of the video uh, the reason why i have not mentioned part one in the previous video is because i never thought i would be making a second part as such but if i think there is a better way of doing it then um, this uh, i thought why not um, make a part two and if more parts if there is a good opportunity so this as uh, if you have not watched my previous video on how to become your own fund manager please do watch that um, there i have mentioned what is a mutual fund um, and also um, what a mutual fund does a mutual fund um, in a mutual fund a fund manager's role is very important and most importantly uh, how he performs how his performance um, is consistent or not depends on your returns uh, over a long period of time but can you become your own fund manager that means do you actually have to rely on a fund manager to 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 um, to um, to continue or to to make your savings or um, <clears throat> to for your um, uh, for your returns uh, that's exactly what i spoke um, in in the previous video this is the part 2 of the video uh, please do watch part 1 um, for better understanding uh even though this is just a continuation of it it's uh it is related and you might get some more insights on the first video too so um uh, so since it is part 2 uh, i've already mentioned part 1 uh, some hidden secrets and a strategy of how you can apply um and um, in in this in this video i will be talking about um some additional methods too so um this this article if you see trade setup Uh, today is december 9th and uh, this this article comes every day um in in money control and if you actually subscribe or um uh, if you have um, this app installed you will get the notification however you can go every um, evening around 9 pm you can actually see this article published so this is basically a daily report um of um, the previous trading sessions and um, so there is there is a lot of data here Uh, where is the max pain um, where is the um, stocks with high delivery percentage uh, long build up short build up based on the open interest and other data so um, when you um, try to become your own fund manager <coughs> we we uh, pick up short term stocks for good uh, short term returns so uh, this is exactly the place where you have to pay attention here stocks with high delivery percentage you can actually get this data from other sources too since um we are um, we have to pick up a stock on on a monthly basis this is also another good way of um, uh, keeping a track of of the stock so as you can see these are uh, high delivery percentage uh, of stock that means people have taken delivery uh, from that means from one day a dmat account to another dmat account there is a very very high delivery percentage uh, how to check Uh, delivery percentage of a stock uh, is also an important factor i have made a video on this before as to how you can actually um, see that percentage delivery and what percentage is good you know so um, uh, the delivery percentage actually means that someone is buying and willing to ex- willing to hold it um, for short term or for long term which means um, there are many so the the delivery percentage itself is very high that actually means that there are many people who are bullish on the stock and uh, um, believe that this stock will not go down much so so again you can see the stocks here some famous names like hdfc um, um hero motoko godrej cp uh, ntpc uh, ntpc uh, is in this list from from very long time and people actually take delivery of these stocks even if you look one year um, uh, high and low returns um you would see this stock most of the times and this stock does not go down as a very defensive stock um from power sector uh, whenever uh, the nifty on the index goes down also this stock doesn't um crash uh, because of its uh, because of its sector and other um defensive stock uh, also the beta value so uh, nestle india itc is also again another defensive stock which people can actually um Uh, invest on it at this point of time again i'm not giving you a um, uh, um, uh, buying or a selling signal here so uh, ntpc and itc these are uh, two good defensive stocks which you can invest 
and you, uh, both these stocks are nifty nifty 50 stocks too so if you are making your own fund manager uh, if you are you know building your you are a, your own fund manager this is also an additional way of uh, picking up a stock for short term so if you are keeping a keeping a track of the stocks for a month and when the next month uh, from your salary you want to put another 5000 rupees or 10000 rupees pick up a stock from the nifty 50 and also see if that is in this particular list and uh, again my um, my suggestion will be the same if you pick up a stock here um, and uh, hold it for um, at least 10 percent returns so as soon as you get 10% uh, return, exit the stock and pick up another stock. That would be my, my strategy and invest the, uh, invest the um, profit plus, um, I'm sorry, the, your returns plus your investment value completely in one stock. Or um, as and when you grow, you can actually divide it into multiple stocks. So here in this case, there are two stocks here. So when the next SIP, uh, your, your payment is due or when your next uh, month's um, salary comes, if um, you think that both these stocks are good enough, then you buy half, half. So, for example, uh, if you are putting a monthly um, uh, investing 10,000 rupees per month, 5,000 rupees, 5,000 rupees would be a good place. And uh, <coughs> 5,000 divided by 138.25. So, you can buy uh, around 36 stocks of NTPC and... Um, around 18 to 20 stocks of um, um, uh, ITC. So as soon as you get 10% returns, um, I think approximately 27 um, would be around 300 ITC. You should exit ITC at around um, 300 and um, so around 25 rupees profit. So 18 into 25, you would get easily making a profit of 450 rupees. That's that's an absolute 10% return. Again, you you would get 10% return here also. You will exit at that time, and then you pick up and uh, you you invest the whole whole of that 10% plus your investment value in another stock. So what eventually what is going to happen over a period of time that is um, um, three months time, ten six months time, uh, or one year's time, your money is getting compounded. That means you are you are exiting a 10% profit. And then you are investing that again, that 10% into another stock, which is uh, either on the trend or um, or stocks which has gone down um, in in, uh, in in a, in a beer, bearish trend. So uh, in this way, you are you are maintaining your own portfolio too, and also making sure you are benefiting from the compounding in a much better way. So what means what happens is um, a fund manager um, takes care of your portfolio and uh, um, and um, you will get a very small percentage of returns um, over a year around 10 to 15 percent on an average every year. So in the uh, so now you might ask me one question that what if the market goes down if this stock itself uh, goes down so market crashes let's say let's say for example the market crashes. Um, 10% or 20% market crashes down drastically because based on any election news or anything else, your uh, your, um, your stock value will go down. But uh, and this is the question you, many of you might ask me. And um, what would you um, let me ask um, the, the exact uh, question I will be asking you is what would happen if you are uh, if you would have invested in the mutual fund too your mutual fund portfolio will also go down. It's the same thing. And what you do is when you um, invest in a mutual fund, you don't have a control over which stocks you are investing and things like that. But here you have a control over the stocks where you are investing and over a long period of time, this will give you um, very, very good returns and definitely much more than 10 to 15% average return. I think from my calculation, I, um, we should get at least uh, 40 to 60 percent yearly returns and no mutual fund can give you a guarantee of that. That's one and two, um, uh, you have complete control over this, this, um, uh, the, the whole scenario here where you have invested in things like that. You can average also at, at certain point of time, you can even average these stocks in, in, in a bearish market too. 
So all in all, you have complete control over your portfolio. You are taking care of your expenses and you are making sure that um, your fund value and your portfolio is, is, is keep on increasing. So um, that's, that's all for today. This is the part two of the video. Um, uh, so here I have spoken about high delivery percentage stocks. In one of my other videos, I have also spoken as to how you can calculate these high delivery percentage stocks yourself. So in this way, you can actually pick up stocks from this uh, way and um, pick up a stock for short term. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not joined me on Twitter, uh, kindly uh, join me. And if you have not joined my Telegram channel, which is completely free, uh, please do join. Um, and I do uh, share a lot of updates like these on, uh, also on my um, uh, Telegram channel. So thank you and uh, I will see you again on the next video.